If only two guards are available for backboarding, the primary guard secures the guest in the water using the appropriate vice grip technique and slowly moves the guest towards the extrication point. The lifeguard on deck clears the pool, makes sure the emergency action plan has been activated, brings the backboard to the extrication point, removes the head immobilizer, and prepares the straps. At the extrication point, the primary guard ensures an overarm vice grip is in place in preparation for placing the guest on the backboard. The deck guard angles the board into the water. The primary guard steps on the board to stabilize it. The deck guard then directs the primary guard to ensure the guest is placed properly on the board and the head is centered in the head space area. Once centered, the deck guard grabs the guest's upper arms and applies pressure against the side of the head. Once they confirm the deck guard has control of the head, the primary guard releases the guest's arms and steps off the bottom of the backboard, allowing the board to rise under the guest. A rescue tube can be used under the foot end of the backboard to provide resistance on the edge of the deck. It keeps the backboard from sliding off the deck. The primary guard then secures the chest strap under the armpits, then attaches straps across the hips, thighs, then lower legs. Once the straps are secured, the primary lifeguard places one hand under the backboard and the other hand on the guest's cheekbones, stabilizing the head. The primary confirms control of the head. The deck guard then releases and lowers the guest's arms and applies the head immobilizer and straps ensuring even pressure on both sides of the head. The primary lifeguard releases the head, moves to the foot of the backboard, removes the rescue tube, and lowers the board into the water. The deck guard lifts and slides the head of the board to the deck. The primary guard then pushes the board, and the deck guard simultaneously pulls the board onto the deck. Move the guest at least six feet from the water's edge. Continue to provide care until EMS arrives. 